Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. It's market outlook time. We're going to take a look at what things you could see related to promos, related to content in this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team, especially with upcoming promos and uh, that being foot birthday for this week. A lot of people are thinking about foot birthday. There's a lot of people that are on this game right now due to, you know, the whole um, virus situation and people being at home. So that's something to talk about as well. That affects the market. So I want to talk about some of the stuff that's going on with the Icon SBC, the mid icon upgrade, the content that we got today uh, or that we got on Sunday, and then some of these upgrade packs, what this means for the game right now at the moment as well. And of course, uh, I mentioned a foot birthday already, but a actually the Twitch Prime pack. And I'll start by talking about this first because it's going to impact you first. This is supposed to be coming into foot. Uh, today on Monday today on Monday. We should be getting twitch prime pack number two It's a player pick and basically what this is. It's a 181 overall or better player choice from four rare gold player items So this should all be showing up in your guys's unassigned again It's coming today on March 23rd, which is what the twitch prime website says so if you have not uh, hooked up your Twitch Prime yet? Uh, you can definitely do that if you have Amazon Prime. It is the same thing. So if you have Amazon, you hook up your Twitch account to it. This is the second of seven packs, I think. There's seven of these things. We're getting one. Uh, yeah, there's one even back here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven Twitch Prime packs that will be coming throughout foot. But this is the next one, and this is the one that we saw last week get uh, entered into the code. The 81 overall or better with four. Uh, four picks. So th these packs could be decent. We'll see. But uh, at least we'll be getting a free pack from EA Sports today on Monday. Last time it, it took them forever to get that figured out. So it might not actually come today. It might take a couple days just because of the way that um, that EA does things sometimes and the way that EA is just kind of slow. By the way, speaking of slow, the menus this weekend have been absolutely atrocious. Uh, and I think it's just because there's a lot of people on the game, a lot of people on all of EA's games at the moment. I've been trying to search up this this Gareth Bale Team of the Week moments card. I'll talk about these cards in a second. Um, but seriously, look how slow that is to load into the menus. If you have to filter through a couple different pages of cards, it, it takes a, way too long to, to load some of the pages. Like, look at that. I get the little loading circle at the bottom. That It's just so, so slow to load pages right now in foot, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. It's way faster on the companion app and the web app. So I'll maybe recommend you guys do some of that if you want to be a little quicker on the market, whether you're trying to get to the 59th minute or just, or just snipe cards, but things we could see this week, uh, we're going to get our second installment of team of the week moments, team of the week moments. We're going to get our second set of those because right now we're on team of the week uh, 26. They've already added a, tw a 27 here. No, we're on, we're on 27. Never mind. This next team of the week is going to be team of the week 28 or team of the week moments two. So we'll see the, the second set of these cards, uh, which could cause some headliner and some ones to watch upgrades. So just be careful for that and watch out for that. I'm going to be interested to see how they choose these going forward based on just based on the hype, right? And the level of the team of the week. This one, of course, this 86 bail is a nice card to get, but the, this inform that he that he got in FIFA 20 was based on a 91 rated inform that he got in FIFA 18. So hopefully they give some decent boost to those cards, but it's a team of the week. So those haven't been very hype all year. The biggest story for this week is the upcoming promo on the weekend and uh, the mid icon. The mid icon is continually going to affect this market basically for the next 25 days because I think it's got 25 days remaining, which it does. This is basically constant demand for high rated players for the next 25 days so when we're watching our high rated golds which they got hit a little bit with squad battle reward supply but not much they're still kind of at the same price right now um we're really not going to see a big drop in these until we get a legit pack promo which this friday and we're going to talk about that a lot at the end of the video foot birthday is going to have massive massive impacts on the market this week it should be this week um, and that should change a lot of things. And I've been telling a lot of people, wait to see what happens on Friday, wait to see what happens on Friday because of it. But if you're wanting to do something midweek and you want to try to grit to grind one of these mid icons, you can grind gold upgrades. If you really want to not gold upgrades, bronze pack, bronze pack methods 
if you want to grind those, get coins and then rinse those into silver upgrades and then rinse those gold cards that you get into the 82 to 88s. It takes time. Uh, and these packs do not give out very good at all, for at least for me and from what I've seen. But if you're looking in that business, you can definitely do mid icon upgrades uh, by crafting them through bronze pack method into silver upgrades and then into the 82 to 88. But that's the way you can grind this week as well as doing league SBCs. Because a lot of these league SBCs got updated to have players that were 88 rated in them. Uh, like the laner card is a new one, 88 rated. Chinese league SBC, 88 rated. Like all the new ones that they added were pretty high rated. Uh, 87 for Cyprian. MLS, the Opara is 88 or 89. It's 88. So at least now you have, you can do the league SBCs to grind as well when you're doing the bronze pack method and you can get some packs from those. Uh, so that's what I think a lot of people are going to be doing this week is they're going to grind the League SBC method. They're going to be grinding the, the bronze pack method. That's a real grind, but it is what people are going to be doing because that's kind of, you know, what you can do on this game right now. And the one thing that I would suggest for you guys to do in terms of these cards it, or these packs that you get from the, from, the, from the League SBCs is I would save them up. There's a lot of people that are saving packs right now, which will have an effect on the game. Uh, we got the 84 plus SBC today as well. I'm saving mine because why not? Uh, but there's a lot of people that, that are going to save packs and that'll have a huge impact on Friday for the promo. But why not? I think you should save packs right now. There's literally nothing to pack. There's no special cards. This is the we've had two weeks in a row now without any special cards other than team of the week. And I think that might be a first for FIFA 20, like two weeks in a row. Maybe it's like the first time since the beginning of the year that we have not had any cards and specials, any any like promo team or anything in packs for this amount of time. Like seriously, two weeks in a row without a promo, especially since 2020 started, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know what what's what's going on here with EA, but whatever, it is what it is. And, and that's going to affect the market this week as well. Since we didn't have a promo, you see me looking at a lot of these Team of the Week moments cards. I think these cards are going to rise pretty nicely out of packs. I'm trying to get bail around 350 if I can, snag one or two of those. I think it could be 400k later this week, Thursday after rewards possibly. I like Kyle Walker, I like Alaba, and I also like Lingard. Those are kind of my favorites from this week's team as an out of packs investment. Just be careful with those, don't go crazy, but if you want to snag a couple, you can, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, most people are going to be doing this week is grinding icon swaps. Uh, doing the mid icon upgrade or just not even playing FIFA, honestly, like mid, mid, the, the midweek grind on FIFA, there's really not that much to do if you've completed swaps and if you've completed doing a mid icon, you're just kind of done, right? The weekend is really the core for this game and when most people are on and uh, I don't see that changing this week. But trading this week, there's still a decent amount of people on the game more than there usually are because of more people being at home. So Flipping, uh, like you, you see, I had this this green one right here. I bought this at 700,000 coins, trying to sell it for 750 because he constantly fluctuates between, you know, 720 to 750. And I caught him on a low range, uh, the low end of a price movement at uh, 700K flat. Kind of watching this Ebro as well because I know he goes up to like 710K almost every day. So if I could get a, a snag this card at maybe like an undercut at 670, I mean, that's not a lot of profit, but. That is, you know, the fluctuations on cards, icon trading this week should be good because there's just more people on the game, which just is more people looking at cards. So anything that's out of packs, right? We I look through these cards a lot with you guys in flipping. Any out of packs informs, I think could be good to fluctuation trade with this week, especially if it's a popular card, like a Bruno Fernandez would be a good one. Any of these shapeshifters are, are very good. Um, and Babu is 344. That's pretty usual for him. That's a card I follow a lot. Mares is down like 20k right now. Um, other than that, stuff looks to be around the same price from what I'm usually seeing. But these are the cards you could trade with throughout the week if you want to. Open bids as well. When the market is kind of low down like this, open bids are massive. This card's 190k. What was he at this weekend? He was 200. That's it. Interesting. Open bids though, especially late night, are fantastic on at this time of the market and, and the, just the state of this game right now. They're great. So that's how you can trade this week if you want to as well. Uh, trading with a lot of the non-rare golds, right? Like tonight on stream, we were looking at squad battles bidding stuff. 
because there's a lot of people that are doing those uh, the league SBCs right now. This Johnny card has been like 1.5k this week before awards. He was 1.5k. My man is now 950 coins. So if you're somebody who likes to trade with the the non rares, like these cards move every single day. League SBC requirements move every day, and then also just things that get required for like. Uh, stuff like this, the throwback marquee matchup. Sometimes they'll drop a random pack SBC that'll require maybe like Brazilians, right? And some of your Brazilian uh, non-rare golds go up in price. So you can trade a lot with those cards for lower budgets this week. Uh, that's a good shout as well. But I really want to talk about foot birthday because that's the biggest thing that is coming. What are we going to see in, in regards to foot birthday later this week? I'm really curious to see if EA really pumps up this promo and starts dropping loading screens off the bat. I'm gonna look at a few cards who I think could be getting for birthday cards uh, and just kind of checking their prices while I'm talking about this. But if they do drop a loading screen really early in the week, they like to do this with promos that they're really, really trying to hype up. Like, I don't know if you remember the first time we ever got Future Stars. We got a loading screen on Tuesday. We had a loading screen on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then of course Friday the promo came. Um, I could see them doing that this week with uh, Foot Birthday because they know people are just really, really wanting a promo right now in Foot. People really want a promo. That's what we keep asking. A lot of people were upset on why Foot Birthday hadn't come yet last week when it when it didn't get released um, on Friday. And there's a lot of people looking forward to this promo. There's a lot of people that have saved packs for this promo. That makes a big difference on this on this game, especially throughout the week. And um, yeah, so foot birthday is really the big thing. I think, I don't know what he is going to do with the loading screens. I think it's very possible that we get one early on. Do I want them to do that? Not really, because if they put a loading screen out really early, that kind of hurts our ability to Thursday flip. Because if, if there's people that know about the promo, if some of the casuals know about the promo before the promo is actually going to come out. I think a lot of people expect it in the more ca uh, the hardcore scene of foot. Like you guys watching this video, you're not really casuals. Um, but if there's a loading screen on either Tuesday or Wednesday or before, basically before Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, before weekend league rewards, Thursday flipping might not be the best this week. I think that it should be good otherwise, although we'll talk about that later. We probably want to be out of cards by 6 p.m. on Thursday because of the loading screen possibility. Uh, but I think you're going to see a lot of panic selling later this weekend. Later this weekend on Friday, heading into foot birthday, if we do have a loading screen, if we get stuff on the front page of foot, you're gonna see a lot of panic selling because people know, especially if they start giving us hints, right? If they give us hints to what the new promo is gonna be and what it's gonna consist of, whether it's gonna be position change stuff or whether we're just gonna be getting like uh, throwback FIFA beasts. Like in FIFA 17, we had an Alexander S. Vine, um, an S. Vine foot birthday card. And I don't, you remember we had like Ibarbo. I looked at that in a video last week, but um, it just kind of depends on what EA wants to do. And to be honest with you, the SBCs that EA has been dropping this week, we got a position change Ashley Young today. Not a really good SBC. Would have been a great SBC like if it was released before Alexis Sanchez. But this card is not as good as Alexis Sanchez. I don't understand what's going on here with this unless you're going to move him to left back in game. Still not the best left back card. Don't like this one, but... Luis Muriel is kind of like an OP beast from past FIFAs and Ashley Young is kind of like a position change card. So I don't know if this is like kind of foreshadowing what they're going to do with Foot Birthday, if they're going to mix it between both. Um, but we'll see. Foot Birthday is always an insane, really good promo. So I'm excited to see what it is. But a lot of people are saving packs, which is going to mean a lot of stuff's going to get cheap in the first hour of lightning rounds on Friday if they drop a promo. And uh, we'll be talking a lot more about that later this week. I'm encouraging you guys to save your packs. I would I would say save them up like I'm doing. Maybe you don't have to open them right away at 6 p.m. UK uh, because that's when everybody else will be opening. And I don't know what that does for pack weight. But uh, that you, you might as well save your packs because right now there's literally nothing to do in this game in, in the pack-wise. Like if you're grinding the upgrades, technically you could say if you're grinding the league SBC method right now, it's a great time to open packs because... The value of high rated fodder is insane, but I opened a lot of packs tonight during squad battle rewards and I literally did not get a single walkout from probably a hundred packs that I opened. I opened 15, 82 to 88s in a row, no walkouts, none. Uh, I got an inform player, 85 rated, 
Uh, Iniesta, team of the week moments, was technically the only walkout that I got, but it was a team of the week walkout, so it was 84 plus. It was actually from the 84 plus SBC. So pack weight has been atrocious. So if you're just be careful if you're grinding either of those methods. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about when to buy stuff, right? Like an Mbappe, who, by the way, I hope he gets the player of the month this week. I don't know when it's actually coming. Again, that's up to the league un to decide when they're going to actually release the award. If Mbappe is in packs this weekend for uh, the foot birthday promotion, it basically anybody that you want to buy for your team, I would hold off until later this week. Look for the, the promo panic before 6 p.m. on Friday or also during the lightning rounds, the first hour or two of lightning rounds on Friday. There's going to be a lot of people that would put FIFA points in for foot birthday and a lot of people that are saving packs. So just be, just be careful with that. If you want to sell some stuff earlier in the week, um, if you're going to sell anything, I might hold on to it and sell after rewards. The only thing that would, that would hurt you again is if we get a loading screen before Thursday at 6 PM UK, but even then some stuff still rises, uh, after rewards, even if we have loading screens and it might rise a little bit. So if you have anything that you really want to sell, that's in your club, uh, like if you want to sell your team before for birthday, cause you, you think it's going to drop. If you have an icon that you think is going to want to sell, cause it's going to get hit during lighting rounds. That's not a bad shout, to be honest. And I think that I would cash out on those things on Thursday after rewards, but before 6 p.m. UK. And we'll talk a lot about that later in this week. But again, it's just kind of a slow, slow start to the week on FIFA. Of course, we don't have any Champions League content because there's no games. We have Team of the Week moments to kind of look forward to and possibly a couple other player SBCs. I mean, EA has been dropping a lot of these recently. They're trying to, to suck coins out of people's clubs right now with, with player of the month cards, with uh, SBCs, flashback player moments. They're really trying to drain coins and they're being successful at it. They're really being successful at it with this mid icon upgrade. I think people are getting less coins right now across the market. And um, you might see that bigger drop happen this weekend because of this SBC going away uh, and all the packs that are open, people selling for the promo. That's why I think Friday is a massive day for foot. So big, big lookout for Friday. That's like, that's put that on your radar. It should be a big day for foot. And whenever we get a loading screen as well. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Foot birthday on Friday, Twitch prime pack today on Monday, and then maybe a couple SBCs that we get from, from EA. Other than that, just people grinding objectives, grinding the, the mid icon, which I would please say, do not do like, it's not worth it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, boys, that's kind of it for this week. If you're going to trade open bids, and out of pack special cards. I mean, that's kind of the move icons as well. So that's the market outlook for this week. There's just not a ton to talk about until we get to Friday. Then there will be a lot to talk about. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new, all right? It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. See you guys later. Peace out.